So fossil hunting in this area has become a pretty popular recreational activity, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes, very much so. And for one family, it's a part of daily living out here in the desert. We're just in an area of hills that are just outside of the town of Huntington and Castledale in what's known as the San Rafael Swell. There you go, there's a nice little one right there. We've been fossil hunters for generations. My grandfather was, uh, was really big into finding and identifying dinosaur bone in petrified wood areas, and so I've, I've kind of had it forever. We've just spent what, what I did when I was a kid, and it's something that we've done with my family all the time that I've been around. It's any time we can get away. That's a big nice. clam, holy cow. Did you hit yourself? That's an awesome piece. Kids love it. You know, I, my kids hound me to go out now, and that's what's fun, is there's not a lot of things these days that kids want to do with their parents, and that's what's kind of unique about this, is all my kids like it. You know, I've got teenagers all the way down to an 18-month-old, and they all like to come out and bang on rocks. You know, that's nice to have the teenagers in particular want to go somewhere with the family. Holy crap, Keely, that's awesome. All right, hang on, Keely's got something like really cool here. We take some of the stuff home so they can show their friends, take it to show and tell. That's a good one. That's a really good one. They put it on their MySpace page or, you know, Facebook page and stuff. It just kind of makes it nice. There's someone. Oh, yeah, there's a nice one. Is that a clap? We'll find some big ones. <laughs> Kaylee's is bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this formation that we're in is the bottom half of the main coast shale, and this, this was the bottom of just a massive ocean. Um, and, you know, we, you find a lot of these ammonites and clams, but you find there's, there's tur tortoise and turtle shells in this area, there's alligator parts. There's a good one. The goal always is to show you if you can't find a, a complete ammonite, you know, a mold or a cast that's 100% intact, and that's what we're always trying to put together. So what's this? You find this? Yeah, this is a nice uh, ammonoid we found here right in the same area. This is one that uh, comes in a little bit higher formation than what we've been looking at today, but this is the kind, this is kind of one of the better ones that you'll find because it's complete. This will be in a full circle, um, relative of the Nautilus that lives today, but this is roughly 130 million years old. Wow, that's amazing. You can see these ribs just... And if you look really close, you can even see those little lines that are called suture marks where the individual pieces of the shell actually are formed together. What would have come out of this shell would have been a creature looked like a squid or an octopus out of the end. It had tentacles and so forth. And wow, that's a that's a big guy. I never had any shellfish quite like no. this. No, <laughs> that would make some really interesting uh, uh, sushi. Yeah, you could feed a lot of <laughs> a lot of sushi lovers. Yes, you could. But there, what's interesting too about these is there's also other species you'll find in these same areas. There's actually shark teeth that we've we've found in these areas of sharks that actually were were designed to eat these kind of and grind the shells up. So they're not shark teeth like you'd see today, they're actually grinding teeth. So you've been able to find the prey and the predator. That's right, all in the same area. That, that's kind of what we hope to find every time you come out. You might come out five times or 10 times without finding one, but that's, this is kind of what you're hoping to find. Oh, that's cool, that is really cool. You know, what's nice about these hobbies is you can do it statewide. You know, there's, there's honestly not many parts of, of Utah or the western U.S. where there's not some place that's in reach to be able to go out and do this. Um, you know, so the thing is, is if you're interested in this, there's lots of good websites and lots of good information, you know, to get you started. They'll give you some ideas of where you can go and start looking. And, and basically, you just got to get out and start looking. And it's like any other hobby, but this one doesn't cost much. Give your kids a hammer and let them start banging on rocks. I found the clams and another clam and if you switch around, I think that's an ammonite, just a teeny tiny ammonite. Part of a little one there. You know, it's just so hard now to find things that, where the kids actually want to get out of the house and uh, just do anything, you know, besides spend time on Facebook or wherever. This is something that they actually can get excited about because they get to find something. This is part of an ammonite. This is an ammonite. Sometimes, you know, you'll find some stuff that takes actually a lot of work to get out of the ground. Um, or to see what's there, and so you know it gets the kids active, and, and more than that, they just get excited about something. You know, I'm I'm more enthused about the fact that they get excited about something you know in nature than anything else, and that's that's kind of what keeps us coming back.